These are the issues with crowns and root canals. It often leads down a typical path. A tooth goes from a healthy tooth, nothing wrong, small cavity, small filling, bigger cavity, bigger filling, crown, root canal, tooth is lost, and you end up doing a replacement of some variety. This is shown in literature over and over and over again, the life cycle of a tooth. Once a crown or a root canal has started, most likely that tooth will be lost at some point in that tooth's future. Can we avoid all of this? The answer is yes. This is such great information and I love that I'm able to share it with you. This biomimetic dentistry that we're talking about, we want to mimic nature. So let's go back to the root canal. What can we do instead? Well, a root canal is usually done when the nerve is affected or infected. Now, what are the difference between those two things? Affected means, let's say you've had a break on your tooth, a crack on the tooth, and the nerve is hypersensitive now because it's exposed. The nerve itself isn't exposed, but there's tooth structure there that's exposed, and that tooth structure has little tubes that go directly to the nerve, so it's hypersensitized. It hurts, it's sensitive, it's hot, cold sensitive, those kinds of things. Well, in that case, if the tooth is just affected, there's something we can do about it. The other side of the coin is if the tooth is infected. What that means is a cavity or something has gone all the way to the nerve of the tooth and it's actually already killed the nerve inside of the tooth. And there is already bacteria growth inside of that nerve tissue and that root canal area. So once a tooth is infected, if it's already dead and it already has bacteria growing there, the option of choice is going to be to remove and replace that tooth. Now you might think that that sounds really drastic, but I told you if you do a root canal, it's heading that direction anyway, but you may be very ill because of it in between the time that the root canal was done and the tooth was removed. So what we say is let's just remove it now before that impact has happened to the rest of your body. Remove and replace it the right way because your body is healthier now than it's going to be down the road if this is reinfected. So that's the infected side. The other side is the one that we really wanna talk about if the tooth is just affected. It's sensitive, it's cold, it's hot sensitive, it hurts a little to bite on, but the tooth is still alive. We know it's still alive. This may be because of a break, it may be because of a deep cavity. Most commonly it's gonna be because of a deep cavity. Well, this is what we are able to do. A tooth that has the nerve exposed, meaning we can actually see the nerve inside of the tooth, will often lead to death. That tooth will die. The idea is we don't want to expose the nerve tissue if at all possible. So what we do is we remove the cavity down to the point where the nerve is right there, but we haven't exposed it yet. We haven't uncovered it yet. Now there might still be a little layer of decayed tooth right on top of it. We can treat that. We use ozone and ozone kills all bacteria. Doesn't matter what it is, it'll, it'll kill it. We use ozone to treat that little thin layer of decayed tooth right on top of the nerve, treat right there and kill all the bacteria. What that does is it makes that tooth structure no longer infected. There's no bacteria in it anymore. It's not gonna spread any further. We treat it, we kill it, and then we fill on top of it. The beautiful thing is now we've preserved the tooth. The nerve is exposed and the tooth is able to heal itself and continue living. Once it continues living, we have other options for how to replace the missing part if you have a lot missing. We have a lot of people come to us just for this one thing. They say, my dentist told me I needed, remember I hate that word, I need a root canal. What do you say? My first question always out of my mouth is, does the tooth still hurt? Is it still sensitive? If it is, I am so happy. Yes, I'm so glad that tooth is so sensitive. Why? Because that means the tooth is still alive. We also have ways to check the vitality to see if the tooth is still alive or not. We take the x-rays, of course. If it's still alive, we have a great shot of saving it. We do what I just explained to you. We remove the cavity down to the deepest part. Don't expose the nerve, ozone it, fill over top of it and rebuild the tooth. We have about a 95% success rate in this instance, that we don't have to kill the tooth in order to save the tooth, which is amazing. And you know, it's interesting, 60 to 80% of traditional crowns and root canals can actually be avoided. Just because that tooth is affected doesn't mean it needs a root canal. Let's save the tooth. Now, once the tooth is saved, you've rebuilt it with a filling material, it might not be enough. So then a dentist might say, you need a crown at this point because there's not a lot of tooth structure left. Here's the key how much is left. If there's still a cusp tip, meaning if one of those bumps on the tooth is still alive, is still there, if there's still a front or a back of the tooth that the cavity hasn't extended onto, if there's still a significant amount of tooth left, then it doesn't need a crown. We do something called an onlay that's much more conservative. 
what an onlay is, is we remove just the affected portion of the tooth, we clean it out, we strengthen it, and then we cover over just that portion. So rather than taking off tooth all the way around and all the way across the top to put a crown over the whole thing, we just clean up and shape the parts that are already missing because of the cavity, because of the break, whatever it might be, and we just cover over those portions. So it's more conservative and you keep the enamel. Remember the enamel is that insulation, it's that protective piece that you really need. We're able to prevent you needing a crown, which often prevents the tooth from dying in the future and then that whole downward spiral that we talked about. This is absolutely huge. So this kind of dentistry, what it really does is it intervenes between what nature has given you, what you, know, what, uh, you are presented with, and what will doom a tooth to being lost in the future. We stop it here and we say, what can we do? And we treat it with ozone, we keep the tooth alive, and we cover it with an onlay and keep it healthy. I love doing this kind of dentistry. It preserves the natural tooth structure, it minimizes stress on the tooth, it's presenting you with a lot of long-term benefits, including keeping this tooth around. So how do you find a qualified biomimetic dentist, someone that can do this kind of thing? Well, first of all, ask these questions. Do you do onlays? Is that something you do? Do you use ozone in your office? Can you do that? You do need some specialized training, and that's why I have my directory to direct you to people that have more of the training that's going to qualify them to be able to do this kind of dentistry. This is the sort of thing that gets us excited here at Total Care Dental because we're able to save teeth that other people said weren't possible to save. And if we can save teeth, then a lot of times it's going to save your health as well. Learn about these different things that you can be asking dentists for and ways to save your teeth. By just mimicking nature's design, we are able to rebuild your tooth, preserve your tooth, preserve its function, its structure, its strength, and the way it looks.